Each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at Charles B. Wheeler Downtown Airport from the flight deck. Charles B. Wheeler Downtown Airport is located just north of downtown Kansas City. It primarily serves the general and corporate aviation communities. In addition to numerous flight schools, locally based aircraft, and a busy medevac operation, KMKC is the primary airport for itinerant aircraft in the Kansas City area. The airport consists of two runways, 422 and 119. Numerous hangars and related facilities line the east and west sides of the airport. Two FBOs on the airport, one located on the northwest corner and one on the southeast corner, as well as the city of Kansas City, Missouri, sell fuel and provide tie-down and other aviation-related services to transient aircraft. There are three hotspot locations identified on the airport diagram. Pilots, please note the proximity of the airport to the city. Be aware of downtown buildings and obstructions southeast of MKC. Hotspot 1 is a concern due to aircraft taxiing north on Taxiway Golf headed for runway 19, or southbound on Taxiway Golf headed to or from Signature Flight Support, or any of the hangars located on the east side of the runway complex. As with all runways, a specific clearance is required to cross runway 422. Taxiway Golf crosses the runway at an oblique angle, which may contribute to pilot confusion and misidentification. Skylane 7241 Romeo, runway 1, taxi the Alima, Alpha, hold short, runway 4. Hotspot 2 is located on the west side of the airport and primarily concerns aircraft from Atlantic Aviation, the T hangars, or the GA terminal taxiing to either Runway 4 or Runway 1. When issued the clearance, taxi to Runway 1 via Lima, Alpha, hold short Runway 4, pilots must use caution at the intersection of Taxiway Lima and Delta as aircraft may mistakenly turn left on Delta, resulting in a runway incursion with Runway 119. Northbound aircraft on Taxiway Foxtrot and Taxiway Delta should also use caution in this area. If the turn onto Taxiway Lima is missed, it could result in the pilot entering runway 119 by mistake. Pilots should be aware of the new Taxiway Lima extension that begins at this location, and review airport diagrams before taxiing. Taxiway signage and markings have been emphasized to help keep pilots on their cleared taxi route. Hotspot 3 is also located on the west side of the airport. Aircraft cleared, taxi to runway 1 via Foxtrot, Bravo, or Alpha, have crossed runway 422. Pilots are reminded that a clearance to a runway does not authorize the crossings of any runways without a specific clearance. If you are not sure if you are clear to cross or not, ask the controller. They are happy to help. One last caution, not depicted on the airport diagram, is directed at landing traffic on either runway and concerns taxiing clear of your runway. While it may look like a great high-speed turnoff, the other runway is not to be used to taxi unless specifically directed by the tower. For example, landing on runway 19, runway 22 looks like an inviting right turnoff, unless there is traffic landing on runway 22. Similar situations can be applied to any of the other landing runways. And finally, the tower and ground control try and turn you off the runway in the direction of your destination, FBO, hangar, etc. They are also aware of the airport layout and the taxiways available for each runway. Traffic conditions may require expeditious clearing of the runway for traffic following. The quickest way off the runway may not be in the direction you want to go. Please follow the tower's direction and clear the runway as directed. This will help traffic flow and may eliminate the need for a go-around. Ground control will get you where you want to go as soon as possible, and the local control will appreciate the help. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at KMKC will help pilots make better decisions, and along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. Now you're better prepared for your trip to Charles B. Wheeler Downtown Airport. It's always better to know before you go.